Think about this. Gabriel appears at the time of the evening sacrifice and he prophesies of what? Of the sacrifice of Messiah. When was Messiah, when did he die? He died at the ninth hour. When is that? That's 3 p.m. When is that? That's the, that's the exact time of the evening sacrifice. So here, from the very beginning, the time of Messiah's sacrifice, when, when Gabriel gives the time, he's actually appearing at the time Jesus is gonna die. When he will be cut off. But there's also more because that word Sheva, all that word that keeps coming up in the prophecies of Daniel, the 77, 70 Shevas, oath, also swearing, promise of God. God sent Gabriel to appear in the temple to Zechariah. Zechariah. And he gives him a sign concerning that he's going to have a son. His wife who could not have children and older now is going to bear a son. It's going to be John the Baptist. It's going to begin everything. Who was his wife? His wife's name was Elizabeth. What is Elizabeth in Hebrew? It's Eli Sheva. Same word. Oath. God, the oath of God. And what does Zechariah's name mean? Zechariah, Zechariah means God has remembered. See, so God, God has remembered, and you got the oath of God. Put them, put them together, marry them, and it becomes God has remembered the oath of God. God has remembered his oath. It's amazing because that, that thing actually comes up in the songs when, he, when, when Zechariah is singing. He talks about, and, and Mary then sings similarly, but talks about he has remembered his oath. God remembered his oath, and he remembered the 77s of Dan, and remembered all his promises, and he brought them together. So when you put, you got it, God has remembered, Zechariah, bring, comes together with Elisheva, Elizabeth, oath of God. They come together, and they bear a son. And what's the son's name? Yochanan John, which means the grace of God. God has remembered his covenant, his oath. He remembered the sevens. Also means God has remembered his sevens, the 77s of Daniel. And so it's going to produce the grace of God. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.